Hope you're having a great day. It's Chase. All right, guys, this has got to be one of the most important videos I've done. This is going to be how to generate wealth and how to become a millionaire in 10 years. And this is the exact strategy that I've used personally to get where I am today, and it can be easily utilized by anyone else. And this isn't going to be one of those deals where you watch the whole freaking video just for at the end of the video, I'm telling you to build some big business that's going to take tons of work and that's going to get you rich. No, no, no. This is all passive investing strategies that are going to get you there and it can be utilized by anyone. And honestly, people try to sell courses or sell books or sell investment packages using these strategies. So I'm not going to sell anything. Just make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel and I'll consider that payment enough. So let's move on to these investing strategies that I'm talking so dearly about. And I'll warn you, the first couple are pretty elementary. I mean, you should know about them if you're in investing to any degree, but the last one is the one that's the real money maker. So stick around to that one. So our first one is the basic Roth IRA. And this one is something that I love because of the tax advantages that it has. So the way a Roth IRA works is you're putting in post-tax income into an investment account up to $6,000 a year currently. Now, I personally just invest in basic index funds that's going to match the US economy so that I'm not having to pick out stocks or anything. And that's gonna give you a return about 8% a year. So if we input all this data into a compound interest calculator, we're gonna see that we're gonna get around $106,000 at the end of the 10 year period by investing $6,000 a month in this account. Not only that, but it's gonna be tax free when you turn 59 and a half to withdraw. So right there, we're seeing 10% of our goal that we're trying to get to that $1 million mark in 10 years. We saw 10% of that over in the Roth IRA alone. So now let's go on to the second one. Our second one is going to be a 401k or any sort of employer match system. Now, the reason I like this one so much is you're pretty much getting guaranteed returns from your employer because they'll usually match to a certain degree of how much you're investing. And you're actually gonna be getting an additional benefit to this one, and that's going to be the money is gonna be pre-taxed going into the investment account. Now, the way I figured this one up, and I, I had to be conservatively because all employers are going to give different kinds of benefits. So conservatively, if you're investing $1,000 a year on one of these programs, say your employer is gonna give you $500 just for investing that $1,000. And for our estimate, this is gonna give you an investment total of $1,500 a year. Now, I would assume most of you are gonna be able to get a lot of more out of this because your employer is gonna give you better benefits. So make sure you go into the nitty gritty of the details of how much you have to invest with your particular employer to maximize the benefits that they offer. But for our example, we're gonna say that 1,500, and so over the course of 10 years investing in just common index funds, 8% returns, we're gonna see around $26,000 at the end of the 10 years. So now we have a total of $133,000 and we're a long way off that million dollar mark. So what investment strategy am I using to make up the difference between that? But before I tell you, I gotta remind you, please hit the like button. It's gonna help with the YouTube algorithm and get this out to more people. And subscribe to my channel if you want content similar to this. And I'm gonna be teaching finances, going over how to start businesses. So it's a fun time, make sure to subscribe. All right, guys, we're on to the last one. So this final one is gonna be real estate syndications. And now personally, I invest in apartment complex syndications because I am comfortable with that market the most. Because with any investment, we have to evaluate the risk and we have to have a knowledge of that market so we know what we're getting into. Now, I also have some other videos that go into depth on real estate syndication. So make sure to check those out if you wanna learn more and get your feet wet with the subject. But for this video, we're just gonna be going over the returns that you can achieve with them. So let's start out with some of the more conservative investments and that's gonna be A-class and B-class apartments. Now, what I've seen and what I've invested in in terms of these class of apartments is usually you're gonna be able to see around a 15% return a year. Now, the thing with apartment syndications, if you're not familiar with them, is the down payment to get into them are kind of large. So you're gonna to have to save up a significant amount of money to make those investments into the properties. I would say the minimum investment that I've seen when it comes to these types is around $25,000. So if you're gonna get into anything that's gonna be this large of a price tag to get into the investment, you have to do your due diligence, you have to know who you're working with so that you're comfortable with the deal. There are many books out there that you can read to learn up on this. There's many videos, there's many sources like Bigger Pockets where you can get into a community to ask a little bit more questions and see who's reputable, but finding a good syndicator that you're comfortable working with is gonna be key. So now $25,000, you know, that's a lot of money. But I think this is very achievable for people who manage their money properly, they cut down on their expenses, and they have a reasonable paying job. So we're trying to get to that million dollar mark, right? So how much do we need to invest exactly to be able to get there in 10 years? So with our class A, class B apartment complex example, we're getting about that 15% return. 
Now, let's assume that first year you make that minimum investment of $25,000. Now, this would mean every year after that first year investment, you're gonna have to invest $33,000. And if we do that, $25,000 the first year, $33,000 for every other year after that, by the 10 year mark, you're gonna get past that $870,000 mark to give you that grand total of a million dollars. Now, this seems kind of out there and maybe it's not achievable in terms of money. So there's actually a second example that's very similar in parallel with this one. It's when we're gonna be a little bit more aggressive and we're gonna go down to class B and class C type apartments. Now, these properties won't be as new and updated as the class A and B apartments. So they're gonna be a little bit more worn, but you're gonna be able to achieve a lot better returns from them. Now we all know where I'm going with this, you know, that added return is gonna add added risk onto the deal. So this is where our knowledge of how apartment complexes work and what we're looking for is gonna be key. But these are the exact deals that I have gotten into personally because I have the knowledge in this field to be able to evaluate properties. So I've actually been seeing 20 to 25% returns. So to be conservatively, let's assume 20% returns for our example to get to a million dollars. Now, like the previous example, we're still gonna estimate that you're gonna put $25,000 in your first deal, but every subsequent deal after that, you're only gonna have to put $23,000 per year up until that 10 year mark, and you're gonna be able to get to $870,000, which will give you that grand total of a million dollars. I personally love real estate syndications because of all they have to offer. If you gain the knowledge in the field that you're investing in, so for us, it's gonna be apartment complexes. There are such great opportunities to create that passive income, passive cash flow for yourself, and that ridiculously good returns with minimal risk. I mean, 15 to 20%, you're not gonna be able to get that consistently on the stock market. And not only that, but I also view apartment complexes as some of the most stable types of investment because they're almost always in demand. Even through 2008, when the housing crash was happening, we actually saw apartment complex rental prices going up. And just for fun, I did the calculations just to show you how far they could actually get you if you consistently did this past 10 years. And let me show you the results. So if we continue on that pace with that 20% return example with the apartments that are class B, class C types, we start out with that $25,000 investment and then we're continually putting $23,000 in investments per year. If we did that for 20 years, we're gonna be at over $6 million at that point. And if we kept going on to 30 years, we're gonna be worth over $38 million. This is the power of passive real estate investing and getting into syndications. Now, if you don't wanna get into apartment complexes like I did, that's perfectly fine. There's plenty of other types of syndications that you can get in that deal in real estate. There's syndications out there for storage space, uh, retail buildings, or even office space. Now, I'm not personally in that market, so I can't vouch for the type of returns you're gonna get or how to weigh the risk in them, but I just wanted you to know that there's other options out there if one of those pique your interest a little bit more than owning apartment buildings. But yeah, it really is that simple. I mean, I've been doing it and that's how I've grown my wealth and my success, and I know you can do it too. I mean, it's really not that hard to learn. I know the toughest hurdles to get into these investments is saving up enough money and making enough income to be able to do them in the first place. That is the exact reason why I've created my own businesses, generated multiple streams of income so that I could be able to afford these types of investment strategies. And that's exactly what I have on my channel with other videos of how to start your own businesses successfully. So get out there guys, go start finding new ways to generate income, start saving your money better so you can get into these types of investments. But that's gonna wrap things up. I appreciate you sticking around for the whole video. Please like the video, that's gonna help with the YouTube algorithm and get this out to more people, I'll really appreciate it. And subscribe to the channel if you want content similar to this. I post Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and one additional time on the weekend. So if you like this content and you wanna keep learning more, subscribe to the channel. But I'll see you next time guys.